cabinet ministers leaving Downing Street tonight after an emergency political meeting to discuss a human tragedy. Any decisions made? Time for talking running out. The loss of life in the channel, a catalyst to act. The PM determined. This disaster underscores how dangerous it is to cross the channel in this way. And it also shows how vital it is that we now step up our efforts to break the business model of the gangsters who are sending people to sea uh, in this way. Now is the time for us all uh, to step up, uh, to work together, to do everything uh, we can to break these gangs who are literally getting away with murder. The operation that's been conducted by our friends on the, on the beaches, supported, as you know, with uh, 54 million pounds from the from the UK to to help patrol the, the beaches. All the technical support that uh, we've been given, uh, we've been giving. They haven't been enough. Nowhere near enough. With record crossings this year, desperate people taking a perilous journey. Today, these migrants made it to the Kent coast. Children swaddled in blankets. The weather worsening. The crossing more treacherous. The government asking for more patrols on French beaches. The opposition asking our own government to do more. The Prime Minister said earlier that he sort of implied that the French hadn't perhaps been as helpful as they could have been in trying to stop these boats being launched. Do you agree with him? I do worry when the government constantly blames others for what is happening. Because I think the government, the Home Secretary, the Prime Minister, do need to take responsibility for doing all they can to prevent people risking their lives in these most dangerous sea lanes on the English Channel. The problem of migrant sea crossings has bedeviled Downing Street for months. Indeed, one cabinet minister told me back in July that it was the issue that they were most worried about, in part because of the cut through it has with the public, but also because it is so very difficult to resolve. Well, they were right to worry, as today those dangerous crossings took on a truly tragic turn, putting immense pressure on both London and Paris to act. That pressure keenly felt by the PM and Home Secretary, who have long campaigned on tackling uncontrolled immigration. It was central to their 2019 general election campaign and central to their Vote Leave mission too. Conservative politicians know their mandate rests on it, but now the focus is less on controlling borders and more on saving lives. There is always a big debate about open borders, uh, about immigration and so on. Today is about how you save people from drowning at sea. This is a wake-up call. This is an absolutely tragic event and a fresh approach is clearly needed. This cannot continue. Dozens more migrants arriving today on the Kent coast, policing this route so difficult. The government said it would make this passage unviable. Instead, it has become not just the main route of entry, but one of the deadliest too. 